It's the Diamond K Show, sometimes controversial, but always authentic. The Diamond K Show is a music insider's view into the world of business and entertainment, hosted by writer, director, and music entrepreneur, yours truly, Diamond K. Hola, people. Hola. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for logging on. And thank you for listening to the Diamond K Show. Spread the word, y'all. I post new content daily at ustreamradio.com. Today's show is sponsored by youarenotthefatherbook.com. Read the struggles I faced before and after finding out the seven-year-old boy I was raising was not my own. Digital paperback and audio versions are available right now at youarenotthefatherbook.com. With that being said, let's get into today's show. Ustreamradio.com, yours truly, Dominic K. I'm feeling so classic right now. Um, of course, the We Rock crew, rock and fresh. A lot of the new new DJs and uh, and all that, they don't even have that record. Uh, but, uh, you know what I mean? So, of course, I'm joined right now by the man. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. I'm joined by the man, MC Jeffrey G in this universe. Absolutely. What's going on, y'all? Hey, chillin', chillin', homie. Chillin', darling. We hanging in there, baby. Wow. It it is a pleasure and a privilege to get to uh, sit down and chop it up with you guys and uh, and talk a little bit about, um, you know, your career. And um, I want to jump right in and, and start from the beginning. How... How did you guys come together? How did the group form? Oh man, hey, check this out, right? It, it, it was crazy, right? Look, me and me and uh, shout out, like, we got a big shout out to Terry T. You know what Definitely. I mean? He, he is down east of shore right now, you know, because of the weather. You know, he he couldn't he couldn't be here right now, nigga. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we um, you know, I was on the I was on the radio. Me and Terry was on the radio by by ourselves, and um, you know, me and I was you know down in, you know in the projects and and everything, and uh, we was giving a party. To, uh, one of our football coaches, and uh, so you know, we was giving a party to the coach, muscle. His name was Muscle, right? So uh, I get to the party, and Universe there, and he was another one of the homeboys, and he rapping, he on the mic. So I get, I come up in there, and everybody like, yo, I got a hundred dollars with my man Jeffrey G. They wanted us to battle. So, so, so what I did, I was like, man, you know what? I really, I always wanted to have a a, a, a crew. I always wanted to have a two MC. So I went to him and I was like, yo, I mean, you interested in being, you know, forming a group? So what we did, I mean, he, I told him, I said, if you're interested in forming me being in a group, meet me up McCullough Home Project at 528. And he was there. He was there with a notebook and a pen in his hand. Wait, wait, waiting, man. He was ready. Showed up every day. Showed up every day. And then, and, and, that, and that's how the We Rock Crew formed, man. That's how we became the We Rock Crew. You know, starting out like a uh, uh, Bible, uh, members, you know what I mean? Um, but the thing uh, that amazed me uh, the most was um, that uh, when we first met, you know, we going on thinking, you know, we great, get on the mic, do yeah. our thing, you know what I mean, get to each other, stuff like that, and it didn't even happen like that, and yep. we wound up getting together, yep. you know, and 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 in and, and actuality, you wanted five MCs. Yep, I wanted five MCs at you first. Know, and we, we had the five MCs, yeah, but, but, but they just couldn't cut it. They, they just couldn't, couldn't cut, cut it. it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I mean, so, yeah, so at know. this point, what, what year are we talking about? What year is it at, at that time yeah. when the group like, formed? Like, that was like 84. That was like 84, 84. And right. the 83, beginning of the 84. Yeah, and the 83, beginning of 84. Yeah. Yeah, first so show. Who 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 were, who were were like some of the influences of, of, of y'all? Like who were y'all listening to at that time? Uh, wow. I mean, really, I mean, like I said, I mean, I was like rapping back then. So the only person I really was taking out was uh, what Sugar Hill Gang and and Grandmaster Flash, and I mean that's about that's about it. No right. for you know, I mean, Bruce Bruce was from Patterson, New Jersey. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. He's from Patterson, New Jersey. So he, you know, he probably heard a little bit more, you know, people than I heard. But yeah, you know what I mean. But like with me, it was just uh, 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 Grandmaster Flash and um, Sugar Hill, and I just, 
I just wanted to do this thing, man. You know what I mean? I had a couple of my buddies tell me, they said, boy, you fast, you you talk fast, man. You should be, you should be a rapper and all that. So next thing you know, man, I just started writing rap. I would come home and try to write a rap. And, and me and Tari, we, we hooked up and we met Mac James, this guy named uh, DJ Mixmaster Phil. And and it was and the rest was history, man. We definitely gotta give a shout out to Mixmaster Phil. Yeah, Master most Phil, definitely man. gotta give a shout out to Mixmaster Phil, because without Phil, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been no We Rock crew, because it wouldn't man. have been no Tari T or Jeffrey G. So man. yeah, we gotta shout out Mixmaster Phil. Definitely yeah, shout out to him. And, and, and you kind of parlayed into the to my next question, which was gonna be about uh Mac James. And um then you answered you answered that. I mean, t- tell us about when, when you guys met him. And uh, for, for those that don't know, that's a legendary figure uh, in, in the Baltimore uh, DMV music scene. 1400 AM, Yeah, 1400 AM, yeah. Uh, Mac, James, Mac James was a cool dude, man, you know what I mean? Hey, we, um, <laughs> uh, we would be over the radio station, you know, every time we, we, would, we, would, uh, we, would, we would put a song together, we would come over to the radio station, you know, mix it down and everything, and, um, and, and then what we, what we would do, is we would sit back as we put the song on and we would look at the phones light up. Man, the phones, phones, phones we would get. The phones would light up, man. I'm talking about, man. I mean, we had this city on lockdown. I mean, like, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's so hard to, it's kind of like, why I don't, it's kind of hard to understand why so many people be going against, I mean, all these rappers be like, you know what I mean, going against each other. I mean, like, they hate, like, they hate, everybody hating on each other. When, when it's like, it, it, I do support. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we should be support. I mean, we had the whole city supporting us, the whole city. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and and other and, and you know, out, outside areas like you know Virginia, Delaware, and and then you know we was even big up. I mean, they knew us up in New York because we bust that. We bust. They come down here. We bust that. Run right. DMC. Run DMC. LL Cool J. All of them, man. We we was in the press fest. We did it all. We did it all, baby. Absolutely. And you know, I was I, I was a little kid at the time. But I definitely, I definitely remember all of this. I remember, you know, listening to to, to y'all on the radio and uh, and hearing, you know, hearing stories about y'all as far as being out. I, I wasn't able to leave the block too much, uh, <laughs> the porch actually. But uh, you know what I mean. I definitely remember hearing about you know performances and and, and things of that. When did you guys realize? Was there a point that you realized, like you know? We got the attention of the city. Like, was there a, a point, uh, a yeah. show, or, or the first reaction to your record on the radio? Like, was there a time that y'all really realized it? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. At the time, we used to hang on a 1500 block of Pennsylvania yep, Avenue. Yep. You know, yep, right you know all of us around from Murphy home. Uh huh. Um, loved our city so much, but man, this was so amazing, man. Everybody used to run home from school. Yep, yep. When WWIN came on, when Mac James came on, mm-hmm. everybody would fly home. Yep. They turn that radio station on because they knew they was gonna get something good. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. yep. And we used to try to come out with at least yep. every two weeks. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get that tape that's ready. Get that tape that's ready. So they they ready knew, to they knew the We Rock crew was coming out with something, man. It was you know, we look forward to that, man. We, we love partying. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. We're all about Baltimore. You yeah. know what I mean? We love our city. Yep, yep. We repped it to the fullest. And, and when Ron, I think they love us. And so LL Cool J at my 18th birthday party of, 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 of Shaking Bay, I mean, Rhythm Skate. And, and it was the Lord, it was a hotel called the Townhouse Motel, right right across from uh, 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 um, Rhythm, Rhythm, Rhythm Skate. So at my 18th birthday, LL was 14. He came down here to do a show, and we all was together, man. And us, the Uno girls, the New Mom. Me, yo, shout out to them and our uh, Charm City, Charm City, Charm City group was True Crew was out was our biggest. <laughs> they was our that biggest was competition. Yeah, that's the only for real. That was the, that was the only group that gave us some competition they back then. They kept us going out They kept us going out to Charm City crew. It was. Woo, you guys are dropping some names right now. Y'all yeah. <laughs> taking me <laughs> back, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, oh my God, we we are legendary right now. Uh, of course, I got the We Rock crew on the line. Ustreamradio.com, dot com three four seven two one five six two four eight. That is the number. Um, 
And and so tell any any memories of uh, the clubs at that time, like uh, Odell's oh, or whatever else was popping. Oh. Yeah, uh, 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 Pascal's, Devonte, Plato, the Underground, oh, yeah. Plato Fields, uh, Forty Six O Four, uh, of course Rhythm Skate, yeah. Shake and Bake, um, Odell's, Odell's of course. We did a show down the Civic Center with uh, with our Run Grandmaster Flash. The Force MDs and um and 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 um I forgot who else was there and and we had to do an after party. The line was from Odell down the street, around the corner, and all the way down three more blocks. Oh my gosh! And, and, and we went over. We went over to the show. It was us and, and that Run DMC. We was together. We went over together in a in a in a, in a cab. That's how we used to hang out with them boys. Yeah. Hello? Oh man, that. That's crazy. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a call real quick, okay. and um, three three four seven two one five six two four eight, and um, call with the eight oh five area code. You on the line with the We Rock crew? Who's this? I mean, first first three digits. I'm sorry, it's eight oh five. Hello, hello. Hey, this is uh. I guess I would be the fifth member of the We Rock. <laughs> oh, 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 David. That's <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Diamond K? This holy uh, my, uh partner. You know, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. We, we we started the conversation about the radio politics um during the Hooli interview, and and as I stated before. The We Rock Crew broke those barriers. I mean, you know, the We Rock Crew was so big, they made Baltimore City create another radio station just so we could hear them. And it's interesting that I hear a lot of these new artists running around here saying, I'm the king of this city, I'm this, I'm this and I'm that. And, I, and, and it's, it's frustrating to me because I know the history of Baltimore, uh, uh, Baltimore rap. When them dudes talk about uh, being in the car with Run DMC uh, and all of that, I was co-managing Bone Thugs and Harmony, and I told the manager of Bone Thugs and Harmony, Steve Lobel, I'm like, um, I used to rock with the Re Rock Crew, and he said, well, you know, Run DMC is coming in town, and he told the, he mentioned the name We Rock Crew to Run DMC. Them dudes sent a limousine to kick me from my house just on the association with the We Rock Crew. So all these casters running around here saying they're the king of the city, please stop it. I mean, you know, if, if, if you don't have the street credibility along with the musical genius that these guys have, man, stop it. I mean, you can't, you're being really disrespectful. And Diamond K, I told you, this year in 2014, one of the two goals I have with the pool, Ruby Shalom on the map and make sure that not only the Baltimore City, but the world knows the legacy of the We Rock Crew. And I'm just going to leave it at that. You, Diamond K, you saw the moves I was making when we had to the studio. And I yep. guarantee before 2014 is over, those two things are going to come into fruition because they are, uh, both, of those, both of those names are, are due to Jeff do respect. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Universe and Jeff, they already know. They already know ain't nothing but love. They already, I'm family. Like, like, they already know. They already know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. And, uh, I mean, you know, so it's just, like, I got all of these, uh, uh, texts and, um, email questions. Uh, you know, so it's just, just people just giving y'all nothing but love. I, I haven't, um, I haven't really like been around anybody that uh, gets the kind of love that you guys get. Um, hey man, what? told you, man. We we had this thing. We had, hey man, we I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it since we done it. I'm being honest with you, man. Well, we definitely appreciate it. We appreciate it though. You know what I mean? And you know what? We going we we gonna do it. We gonna do a, a big show soon, man. We gonna do a big show soon. We gonna holler at you about that, Diamond. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I definitely, I definitely want to be a part of that. I mean, what, what do you attribute to, to the, the the type of love that you guys get? Like, is there, what, what, you know, what kind of advice can you give some of the up and coming people to get, to get that kind of love? I mean, all, all I can say, 
is I mean be your be be yourself and keep it one hundred. Keep it keep it one hundred. You know what I mean? Um you know, but it's kinda uh, one thing I can, I can say, I see that the the the, the people that the, in this day and time, people is not the same, man. It's like um, you can you can I see it's a lot of MCs out here that keep it one hundred. I know some I know some guys, man, that's out there rapping now, and they and they and they pretty cool guys, but um, and, you know, and they might not get that I mean the love from the city like like we did because the the city is is not the same. The people in the city is not the same, man. It's like, like I said, don't nobody want to see nobody, body make it. Everybody, everybody's trying to do it, but no, but but nobody want to see nobody make it, man. I mean, it, it's just, it's just, it's just times have times have changed. That's all I can say. And another thing, John K. Um, please learn the business aspect of this music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish we did. <laughs> I wish we had. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, I so, wish we had. Um, yeah. it, that's that's. If you don't do anything else, that's right. Please learn that. Yeah. Because if we would have knew the business aspect of it, uh, Russell Simmons wanted to sign us. Well, that's a whole nother story, man. <laughs> Another story. That's indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot of Baltimore artists, you know, um, have been in that situation. You know, like you described, where as though they, they had the city. Uh, uh -huh. Buzzing for a minute, and, and yeah. opportunities may have presented themselves, and they didn't know how to, um, right. you know, know how to capitalize, you know, yeah. on that. What What was the goal? I mean, I, I remember a, a lot of groups that I've, you know, managed over the years. I think that their goal was maybe just to get get some play on the radio in, in Baltimore and get get some love in the clubs from the DJs. You know, with the records and 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 get a few girls. What what was the goal when y'all set out? What, was there a goal for the We Rock crew, or was it just well, no? Nope. Did it for the love? Yeah, of it. Yeah, we did it for the fun, man. Just the love of it, man. That's all. You know, they got a little serious. Um, yeah. And and the rest was history. Yeah. Um, we never imagined all this. Yeah, yeah. no, we did that time. No, we did, we did. We didn't. I mean, we, just we did. definitely appreciate. It. Yeah, we did it for the. We just did it for the love of it, the fun, and then it was like everybody knew what they could find us, man. That we, we, we you know, I'm not on man yet. Since man, in Moja. Yeah, Um, um, the founding mother of this group was Miss uh, House yeah, Plain. Yeah, yeah, man. My mom, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got most of them. The shout out to July. That's right. You know, and it had been times, man, where we didn't even want to go do shows and stuff like that. You know, kind of gave up. You know, because it felt like people was getting over on yeah, it and stuff man. like yeah, that. And she yeah. really pushed. It. Yeah, she did. You know, when times yeah, we did. didn't even want to go out there, she pushed us. She said, if this what you love, this is what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah, you know my, I mean? yeah, man. My mom, my mom. If you ever see us doing that, then, you know what I mean? Hanging yeah. on them corners. Yeah, man. So, you know, yeah. I, I would definitely want to give a shout yeah, out to Yeah, man. Rest in peace. Um, Rest my, peace. My, mom, my mother, man, she she played a big part in, in that, man. And I, and I, um, mm, 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 when it came to that, man. Yeah, she, she was, uh, you dearly missed, and um, yeah, but she played a big part. Absolutely, and I and I had the uh, opportunity to meet her at the uh, at the music awards. awards. Guess um, what? Nobody, that was the last thing, and you know what? And she made it there too, man. And I'm glad you you got a chance to meet her. And you see how she was. You seen that she had a uh, her uh, the, her, uh, her little uh, uh, oxygen oxygen on, but she still yep. made it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 And, and she had this she she had this twinkle in her eyes. She was just so you know I mean so proud and so happy and it was it was a really a real good moment to see. Yeah, it was, man. It, was, definitely yeah, it really was. was. Yeah, she had a lot of big influence on her. Yeah, I appreciate that diamond. Real I really did. Yep. Yeah, I, yep. I mean you know you know, legends and, and that that was, you know, something that was uh uh definitely needed to happen. So um definitely any anything else that um say to your uh to your fans and your supporters hey man well you know what i mean we we um i i know I, I really really appreciate um you know what i mean people uh you know sticking by us and supporting us through all these all these years man i mean like like i said man i i could be anywhere and i and i see people man that they they know me and they know that i you know and, and the we rock crew man and they It'd be like we, you know, asking when we gonna do another show, or or I, I enjoy y'all music, or I, you know, I took uh, 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 copy y'all tapes back in the day, and I really enjoyed it. And I really like to shout out to all the all out all the fans that 
that's you know was with us from the beginning and still there to this day. We got one, we got one more good one in us, man. And I'm telling you, we're going and we're going, we're going to give him something really to, to uh, you know, the right home. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give him a good one, man. To, uh, to take to take out with him. Right, we got a good one. We got we got something to play. Yeah, Absolutely, we, we, we you know we definitely gotta make that happen. Anything I can do to help out with that, uh, definitely let me know. I, I definitely wanna wanna be there and be a part of that. And Terry, and Terry, and Terry T, man, and hey, most definitely without Terry, without Terry, Terry is a musical genius, man. <laughs> with, the, my with, with, chain, with, man. with that with that drum machine, and I mean Terry did some things back in the day, man. I mean that. On them turntables with on the with, turntables, with, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Them hand, them hand cups and stuff like. I mean, him and Jam Master J even got into a little something, man. I mean, down the about down the arena, because uh, you know, Terry took big beat and he did some things with it that uh, Jay 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 could I don't think Jay could do. So uh, <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, I'm re- I'm being honest with you, man. He, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, yeah, Terry. I mean, a big shout out to Terry T. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Dominic, I definitely like to get a shout out to all the up and coming rappers that's coming out of Baltimore. Yeah, man, we got to make it happen, man. Yeah, most definitely. Need us on the map. Somebody, you know I mean? everybody right. rapping from everywhere else. That's right. Come on, man, put Baltimore on the map. Somebody man. got to. You know what I mean? And know what? The whole thing to that is, I didn't talk. I talked to Kevin Lyles a couple of times. Virgil Sims, you know Virgil. I mean, you know Virgil was one of the who had a lot to do with us, with us being in every show that came in, every show that came through Baltimore. You know, Virgil had a lot to do with us being in, in you know, in every show too. Kevin, you know, Kevin used to be at a new mom, so we already know how that went. Uh, yeah, we all we was we was doing our thing back then. But uh, I was talking to Kevin one day, and Kevin was telling me that it's no bu- it's no buzz. I mean, in Baltimore, he was like, gee. If I heard a buzz, you know that somebody, uh, you know somebody up and coming down there, I would, I would be there. Right. But I haven't heard a buzz like you know, like 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 you, like you heard about Drake in Toronto, or you heard about, uh, uh, you know, what I mean, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's what we yeah, need yeah, yeah, that's we, what yeah, we yeah. Need. I mean, we need somebody, but but they gotta be different. You can't, you can't, you can't sound like, you can't sound like the down down south boys. Can't sound like you gotta be you. the ball give it the Baltimore sound. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. You can't sound right. like down south. You can't sound like New York. You gotta be something different, and, and that's what and that's what's gonna make it, man. That's whoever whoever can do that, they gonna make it. All right, they gonna make it. Absolutely, could could not could not say it better. Could not say it better. The uh, legendary We Rock crew, of course, y'all just tuning in. And uh, Baltimore rap legends right here on the line and uh, dropping jewels on everybody. So uh, definitely uh, like to appreciate, uh, like to thank you guys and, um, you know, for calling in and, and, and taking some time to talk to me and uh, and the, the listeners and all and all that good stuff. Much, much love to you guys. Hey, hey Diamond, I'm most definitely, man. Shout out to these three MCs. I put that group together. That's I right, put that group. Right. I put that group together, man. And they look. And they Orchard made news, man. yeah, yeah. Orchard Muse and I was, look. I put that group together, and they came out with a. You know, they came out with that oh, nonstop oh. hip hop. That that record was big all they over the world. On them. And you yeah, it was. To them because of because of we definitely, you know, because of management too, because of bad management and everything you see what happened to them man they them boys didn't get a dime man and that record and everybody sampled that that, that song these right. rims everybody everybody dj cheese everybody uses that record mm-hmm. everybody but, yeah I'm like that you said, it's about their business you gotta know the business Gotta know the business. You gotta know the business, man. That's right. If you're gonna get into it, know the business aspect of it. Please. A- along with just, you know what I mean? Yeah, hell, you wait. That's right, man. Because uh, boy, if they hungry out there, man. They, they, the We Rock crew was used. They, everybody knew that we was a drawer. So man, we was. That's why they, they had all the votes. They, they, they put us in every show, every basketball, every so every look, volleyball gets New York basketball mm-hmm. game, every this because they knew we was gonna make. We knew they knew we was gonna draw, they gonna and draw. they knew they was going. Hey, give it us a, give us a couple of hours, and we wasn't really worried about money because we, we 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 had a way of making that. We already had money, so that was rocking okay. fresh. Yeah, 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 we was rocking friends. So we already had money. So so because we wasn't really worrying about money like that, they took advantage of it. Exactly. Right. Hey. Right. Yep. Yep. And that happened to a lot of that happened to a lot of people, um, you know, in that era and and after that. Most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. 
No, you're right. You're right, man. You're right. I mean, it happens to the best of them. A new addition, all of them. You're right. It happens to the best of them. You're right. right. But more importantly, I'm just glad to know we wasn't forgotten. That's right. You know what, though? And that's the best thing. That, that and I just to love you. Man. You stream, Dominic. I love y'all, no man. No question, man. Hey, I'd like right. to thank y'all for the award y'all gave us. Hey, I look, I look at my award every day. Hey, it's <laughs> <laughs> I look at my award yeah, every day. I mean, we... We appreciate y'all. I mean, I think I think that that's the that's the biggest thing right there. The, the main, you know, and I ain't want to make this about my thoughts, but the main problem that I have with with hip hop is I just don't think that there's enough acknowledgement and recognition for the people that came before. And it's, right. it's just like they get to a certain point and then they just want to, you know, what I mean, just drop somebody and just hop sure. to the next thing. Yeah, just kick them to that's the curb. That's been the problem that I had. There you go, man. And not what? And I, and, 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 and hey, man. And, um, we appreciate that, man. I guess yeah, it, yeah, man. Just, like I said, the fans, man. They the ones that keep. They, they the ones that keep you going. And like right. I said, we love our fans, man. For love, real. love them to death. <laughs> I love you, boy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we, we we definitely gonna put something together. Uh, something something big for the people, and and um right. and we we definitely gonna keep people posted on that one. Okay. Okay. Most okay. definitely. Yeah. All right. Thanks, you guys. Okay, all thank all, you, okay. man. All right, man. All right, shout out Terry T. Shout out, baby. Definitely right. shout out Terry T. But right, well, right. before we go, I gotta tell one Terry T story. The first time I met Terry T uh, was in the '90s. I was working at a record store in Westview, and I knew who Terry T was, but I'd never seen him before. And yeah, so, yeah. you know, I'm in the store. I was on the turntables, and um, you know, Terry came in the store, and uh, some of the older DJs in the store they knew. You know, knew what Terry looked like, and so he was like, "Oh, it's Terry T." And so Terry came over to the turntables, like, "Yeah, move out of the way, young boy. You don't know what you're doing." And so Terry got with the turntables and just started, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's, that's how we met. <laughs> hey, Dom, that's Terry. That's Terry. Hey, did he get on there? Was he scratching? Yeah, yeah, he was. And I'm looking like he hey, don't know what he's doing. And then come to find out, it was Terry T. And uh, and of course he knew what he was doing, so you know. <laughs> all right, all right, bro, man. All right, all right, y'all all right, take it easy. All right, you all right, all right.